June 6, 1944, it was the day that changed the world. 70 years ago. Think about that. At just 25 years old, a local soldier dodged gunfire to lead his troops onto the shores of Omaha Beach. Tonight, he remembers the battle that turned the tide of World War II. Pittsburgh's Action News 4 reporter Sheldon Ingram has his story. D-Day is regarded by many as one of the most mighty air and sea attacks known to mankind. And on his 70th anniversary, it's a time for people to remember and honor those who died and survived. The beaches of Normandy where the Allies attacked will always have a place in our nation's memory. And that day will always be etched in the memory of 95-year-old Frank Gervasi. He was one of the 150,000 men who stormed the beaches 70 years ago today. Gervasi was a young 25-year-old soldier bearing an anti-tank rifle. As a staff sergeant, he helped lead a platoon of 21 soldiers onto Omaha Beach. They were pounded by fierce gunfire from German 88 artillery guns. Were you proud to fight in that war? Definitely. I thought it was my duty just like anybody else. Gavasi was a member of the 16th Infantry Regiment of the 1st Infantry Division, known as Big Red. He says when they stormed Omaha Beach, they were confronted by landmines, bob wire, and the dreaded German tank. Congressman Keith Rofus organized this tribute to honor Gavasi and other World War II vets who survived and died. God bless this quiet generation that never sought honor and glory, but always should be showered with it. Almost one out of every three Pennsylvania men served during World War II. More than 15,000 were killed. But Gavasi survived, even though he spent more than 300 days on the front line while surrounded by death and wounded men. Were you afraid to die? No. Afraid of being crippled for life. We was afraid of being hit and being crippled or being hit and not found. Gravasi is grateful to receive this honor. In the words of Congressman Rothfuss, World War II veterans will always be remembered, never forgotten. In Beaver County, Sheldon Ingram, Pittsburgh's Action News 4.